Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. So we have a haul video on our hands and it's, it's a lot, it's a lot. It's not from one particular store slash brand. I just shop everywhere. <laughs> if there's a sale and they have stuff that I wanted or I've been wanting on sale, I'm just gonna buy it. Doesn't matter where it's at, right? I I have a little bit of everything in here, so yeah, it's not all, ow, I scratch myself, I gotta do my nails, <laughs> okay, anyways, so it's not all makeup, there's some skincare and some fashion in here, so I'm excited, this video might be long, so grab some popcorn, chill out, grab a little snack, and uh, hang out with me because we might be here a while. <laughs> I got this at Kohl's. Well, I went to Kohl's for something totally different <laughs> with my husband. And then I saw this product. It's an eyeshadow palette. And I was like, ooh, because I saw it when it first came out and I wasn't too drawn to it online. But when I saw it in person and then I like swatched the colors and I knew I, I knew I had to have it in my life and they had one more palette in the store and I went to grab the palette and I saw some like powder on the side you know like from the eyeshadow so when I opened it it was all shattered <laughs> yeah but I was able to order it online at Kohl's and I got free shipping because I ordered it there it is ah, from the company pure and it's their Trolls, uh, yeah, DreamWork Trolls eyeshadow palette. It's so cute. Look, look, look. I forgot her name. Poppy. <laughs> they have an eyeshadow anyways called Poppy. I really love that movie. Oh, it's, it was so good. There's some, there's some word in there too. It's good. It's just an all around good feel movie. And I saw this online and I was just like, I wasn't really drawn to the colors. Even on the packaging nothing really like stands out to me i love how simple the packaging is silver white again it's just it's simple but and it had the little troll right here it's so cute you got your mirror your little troll thingy here and oh my god <laughs> this, this palette is so pretty let me flip it over for you guys look at that I really hope the camera's picking it up. I just I just can't this magenta pink poppy. Let me oh my look how pretty that is. Okay. Okay. Look how pretty that is. And it looks like it let me it's just oh my gosh. It's just so pretty. So pretty. And then of course DJ Sucky. Suki, sucky, bleh. this one right here, this nice burnt orange, burnt orange one also got to me. Oh my gosh, I just love it, love it. Let me swatch another one, Karma. This nice shimmery gold because I love shimmery gold eyeshadows. So they are very, they're very pigmented. They're soft. I just... I didn't try it on my eyes yet. Everything in this haul I haven't used except one item and I'll let you know when, when that when I talk about it. But other than that, I've been such a good girl and I haven't touched my my stuff that I brought because you know I wanted to do a video, a haul video. So yeah, I've been I've been good. They sell this for twenty nine dollars. I'm not sure if it's limited edition. Probably it is because it's DreamWorks, it's from Trolls. So, that was a hard bang. I'm not even going, I'm not, I'm not going to check, I'm not going to check. Everything should be fine. Lord Jesus. It's at Kohl's and I'm pretty sure it's on their site. Actually, I think it's out of stock on their site on purecosmetics.com. So go to Kohl's, pick it up, please, please, please. It's perfect for spring and and uh, summer and just just look at this just look at this next up is my where are you <laughs> yeah 
Yes, Colourpop! If you've been keeping up with Colourpop recently, it's pretty hard to keep up with them nowadays only because they are they are releasing everything and just everything. <laughs> every they have a release every week. They recently came out with these three different color. I think it's like, I can't remember exactly what they called it. There was three phases. There's like a nectar phase. I can't remember what they called the pink one. So I'm just going to call it the pink phase. Where it's just a lot of pinky uh, shades. And then they had sand. I want to I wanna get sand. And Kathleen Knight's been talking about the sand uh, blush. The double play. It's like their blush and highlighter palette it's like a duo and it is it's pretty this stuff is from phase one It's their nectar colors and it just screams to me it's all peachy it's so pretty and i haven't played with it yet <laughs> okay so first up we have super shock eyeshadows and you guys okay i'm gonna cry from how pretty this color is right now well just how it looks like right, can you can you open <gasps> look how pretty oh my gosh i just can't deal oh it's so pretty this is okay so this is a swatch let's see let's see oh you see that is this bottom one right here that's the color pop so it comes off more, doesn't come out as peachy as it looks in the jar. Kind of disappointed me a little bit. It's a lot of glitter in there. Yeah, I'll see how it looks on the eyes. You guys already know how I feel. Swatches, you can't really go by swatches. You got to put it to use. I have an ultra satin lip from that nectar collection. It's called Exaggerated. And oh. It's such a pretty peachy color. It's like a peachy nude. Satin lips, I'm noticing. Some of this sult oh, satin lippies, depending on the color, they work differently. I love Point Zero. That's uh, their Kathleen Lights collab. It goes on really nice. It stays on nice. And the Aquarius one too. There's an Aquarius one. It goes on nice too. Another Kathleen Lights collab. But I've recently tried one of the lippies from the Alexis Ren collection, and I didn't like. I didn't like the way it sat on my lips. So, I mean, I love the color, but I don't know. And it's an it's a satin lip so let's see I'm kind of scared but of course that's all lipsticks like depending on the colors you know the pigments it it works differently so okay ooh yes the, the last item from that phase one collection is this knockout palette it's the pressed powder blush and pressed powder highlighter the blush is called Excuse My French, and the highlighter is called Like to Watch. <laughs> hmm. Oh my god, it's so pretty! Okay, this is this the blush, this is the highlighter, of course. Just look at that. Look at that. Feels really soft. That's the blush. Look at that. Like it. Yes. Oh, this highlighter feels really soft. Ooh. <clears throat> y'all know, y'all know how I feel about my highlighters. Ooh, my highlight. Oh, that feels really soft. That feels softer than the Lexus Ren one. Should I put it? No, I have, I have tart on my face. It's my highlight. As my highlight. I said I wasn't going to swatch everything and look at me. I can't help it. I can't help it. You know? This I got to make free shipping i know but it was on sale too and their sales is like what they say going going gone i think that's how they put it but yes and it's from the hello kitty hello kitty pop i was gonna say hello kitty pop whatever i guess right and uh yeah it's the ultra matte lip and this is the color ribbon so i've seen a lot of good reviews on this color a lot of people guys okay can we look at this red i don't 
I don't think the camera's gonna pick up this beautiful red because you know it's gonna oh my lord I'm always on a search for a beautiful red lipstick I have a lot of reds I love red but I'm really picky you ready you ready for this let's see that's it that's it oh my gosh yeah I just I'm gonna fix this swatch all right so this is that first sloppy swatch I did this is the second one I'm gonna have to put it on my lips because if I'm in love with it I'm gonna have to get another one mm. yes a thousand times yes next up is Sephora oh I have been dying to use these products but I haven't because I wanted to make a video of it I honestly do 80% of my shopping online dust everywhere my boxes has been collecting dust no but like okay maybe 85% 90% I say 90% 90% is online I just love online shopping I really do going to the stores especially Sephora is so overwhelming too overwhelming but I still go you know I gotta use those 50 bonus points for my Sephora play box oh my gosh I talk so much let me show you what I got let me show you what I got okay. <laughs> I got this the Sephora favorites give me some more lip yes okay I am a sucker for these kits I, I seriously am I, I I always buy their give me I don't know why I say oh huh. give me nude SM more give me some nude lip that's what it says give me some nude lip they always come out with these lip kits this comes with a full size Urban Decay 1993 and a full size Estee, Estee Edit crayon lip liner they're both full size and then everything else is travel deluxe sizes all for $28 can I open you already can you open it I love how it's a lip lip ah! oh. stay in there okay it's the shape of the lip first one this is the buxom white Russian I already have this so I'll be giving this away next is the Too Faced melted matte in Queen B Queen B almost looks like what I have on now this one is from bite beauty honeycomb Ooh, that looks like a nice color I'm not gonna swatch them all cuz we're gonna be here forever guys this is Marc Jacobs in slow burn I I love his I love Marc Jacobs beauty I really do they have the coconut collection out now that I am I have to get my hands on that bronzer mm, this looks like a really nice color I have a a lipstick already full size in case <laughs> and a gloss oh, so good it stays on it's so comfortable it's really good so now now I have this little baby I get to try out now is the Estee Edit by Estee Lauder in the buff. Okay, look, let me not. I'm turning it, but I can't turn it back down. So let me. <laughs> Ooh, it feels soft. This has gotten good reviews on Sephora. So that's the lip liner. I've been wanting this color for a while. Urban Decay's. 1993 the finish is comfort matte supposedly it's a like 90s brown and I mean you can't go wrong with Urban Decay oh my god it's so pretty look at that it's a nice color actually goes with the liner from what I can tell should I keep this it's so cute I'll put it on my wall as a shadow box, right? I'm obsessed with these. These are their sponges. Double Take BB and CC Cream Sponges. They're double-sided. Let me open one. These are $5. You get 
two sponges for five dollars and they're always in and out i'm always on a hunt for these you know they sell out rather quickly so there's two this is the black side this is the one i use this is like more the velvet side i don't really like this side i use it for bb cream for bb and cc creams amazing it doesn't soak up the product it gives you such a nice finish i just i love it i love it i use this when i put on my naked skin from urban decay and i i love it i use this under my ole henriksen perfect truth cc cream that they don't have anymore in sephora i bought two more something that i love i'm restocking because you know it's always out of stock i just i can't live without these it's my babies so i stocked up oh yes tarts recently came out with their unicorn make believe in your makeup i believe it's called i don't know i didn't get the whole collection i wasn't too into the collection but I saw this. This is a Spellbound Sprinkle Face and Body Glitter. It was like $15, I believe. And I just had to get it. I saw a swatch of... Oh, it's so pretty, the packaging. I saw a swatch of it online, and I just had to. It's a loose highlighter. Can't wait. And it's literally supposed to be for everything. Face and Body Glitter. Let's see like a tiny tiny swatch oh my gosh this is glitter you see that i know you see it Ooh, did that add to it i think it did it's this side and this side no glitter with glitter and i couldn't resist this yes I am excited for these. Oh, look, it came in this unicorn wrapping paper. That, you know, paper. <laughs> this is so cute. That's so cute. I reuse those too. Ooh. These are my first Tarte brushes. Oh my God, they're so soft. Oh my God. Yeah, and not prickly. They feel so soft. Wow, it's pretty uh sturdy and it's pink. And I got some samples. They has uh, where's my other samples? I'm not other samples. This like a I get a bunch of these little samples. They had them. So what makeup forever artist acrylic lip? I don't know. It's YSL. I have their these things this i mean it's not this product but they had a bunch of samples like that for this and who i had to buy it and it's why i sell so it's you know paid a pretty penny but this there's actually a kit on sephora that i i want to get it's like a multitasker yeah multi-stick so I got that. I got this Living Proof Prime Style Extender, which I know I already love, and I was I was running low. And this, they have like those codes, like spend twenty five, you get like a free deluxe sample. Spend thirty five. This was one of them for twenty five. It's Bobby Brown's Art Stick Liquid Lip. It's cute. It's a squeeze tube. I don't know how I feel about that. I really don't like squeeze tubes. Lip glosses, I prefer in a tube with the brush. I really don't like squeezing. I, d I don't like squeeze tubes. And it's a liquid lip at that. Alright, whatever. It's a sample. I got it for free. <laughs> Packaging's a little weird though. I found this on sale. I heard Kathleen Lights speak about it and how much she loves it. And I found it on sale for $11. $11. Keep that in mind. It's their... Weekender, I believe. Vacationer, Weekender bag, makeup bag. Here it is. It's the first time I'm opening it up. And she was raving about this. I looked at the reviews and everyone loves it. So I figured why not get it because I need one. 
and I found it for $11 on sale and I believe it's like 40 bucks originally 30 40 bucks <laughs> winning <laughs> yes okay yes what they describe up here in the lid you can store your brushes so that's pretty cool it's a flap to protect the bristles hence the inside okay it's the inside is little divider that is also a compartment is velcro so you can open it up I can open it up and store more things and then they have extra little slots here for extra stuff I'm excited yes okay you know maybe if I would have had this when I went to St. Louis my chocolate bar palette would have been intact still and this is the 100 point perk I redeemed 100 points I really don't unless it's something worth it this I was excited because this is a new line from Ole Henriksen for the counterbalance oil control line so it's supposed to reduce oils and the appearance of pores it came out with a toner moisturizer face wash I believe and I added all of them into my beauty bag in my loves list to because I I was like, okay, sounds good. I want to try it out. And then I saw this for 100 points. So I'm like, bam, I guess we'll try this out without spending the money, right? This is, yeah, oil control hydrator. Apply evenly to face and neck, AM and PM. It's supposed to help refine and reduce the appearance of pores while maintaining optimal hydration and a healthy balance. Complexion is soft, smooth, and refreshed with a healthy looking matte Ole Glow. So I'm going to look matte but with a glow. I will definitely keep you guys updated on this. <laughs> yes, I will. Okay, that sounds interesting. My makeup is melting before my eyes. I tried this eyeliner. It doesn't claim to be waterproof but it's just like transferring to my bottom lids so now I'm looking more sultry than I did in the beginning of the video <laughs> this this is a repurchase I can't get enough of this stuff this is from Tarte is the rainforest of the sea deep dive gel I used this at night this stuff is amazing this is my nightly face wash it it gets off every lick of dirt that is in your face makeup I mean, I still use my makeup removers, but this, oof, even when I don't use makeup for the day and, you know, I, I wash my face at night, I still have a lot of dirt. Because <laughs> so I do want to buy the bigger size. This is their 5 ounces, I believe. Yes, this is 5 ounces. They have a 10 ounce for 35 or 34, 34 or 35 dollars, I believe. This is 25. Yes, this is a must-have for me. This is my holy grail of face wash, at least for night. I have another one that I use for daytime. This, oh, I highly recommend. I highly recommend this. Okay. The last box is for Macy's. Yes. I love Macy's. Macy's recently had a sale. Um, where they had everything. They had their beauty products on sale, which they normally don't. Like, they don't give discounts for their beauty products. This time they did. I didn't go too crazy. First, that I got at Macy's, I got this Sashido, Sashido Facial Cotton Pads. This right here is 65. A 60, no, 65. Yeah, okay. 165 sheets, okay? The one I bought, I believe it was 40 for $5. And this is $10 for 165 They are so soft. You don't get that, uh, those little cottony, like, not residue, but, you know, like, it's just you leave, it leaves some behind after you use your cleanser or your toner or whatnot. It's a little too big for me to use just like this. They say to, they say to use it like this, but that's a little uncomfortable for me. No. I'm not calling you Siri. So what I do is I cut them diagonally. 
So now I have two. So really I get more because I don't use a full sheet. I break them in half. They don't soak up a lot of product and they don't break up either. Whatever. So I I got the Urban Decay Subversion Lash Primer and the only reason why I got this is because I used to use Lancome's. They have a lash primer and I really did see a difference in my mascara when I used it versus when I didn't. Um, and Urban Decay, I mean, I, it is cheaper than Lancome's, I believe. It got good reviews. You know, it's white. It's a primer. So yes, Urban Decay is it's one of my favorite brands. So, I'm... Let's see, let's see. Hopefully it's good. Another mascara. I did use this. This is the one I used already. It's a uh, Too Faced Better Than Sex waterproof one. And I love it. So I brought this because I went to Hillsong's color conference last week on Saturday. If you don't know, Hillsong is a church. Their main campus is in Australia and they have one in New York, Hillsong NYC, New York. I used to go there with my husband, but ever since moving to Long Island, it was kind of a commute from Long Island to the city. So we found one up here in Massapequa, Centerpoint Church, that's that's where we go. But I still go to their conferences. Well, we, we go to their conferences. So this year, I I was like, I'm gonna use water, I'm gonna get waterproof mascara because I just, God always makes me cry. <laughs> Color Conference is a conference where it's just all women and yeah, we just come, we uplift each other through the word of God and oh man, it's just, it's it's amazing, it's amazing. God does great things through, through that conference, through that church. So I figured I'm gonna be prepared. And I was, and it held up because I, I did cry and this held up. It, I went to dry my eyes, my lashes, nothing transferred and it wasn't hard to get off. I know I had one from Maybelline. It's a Maybelline waterproof mascara, which I loved as well. I just had to throw it out recently because it was pretty old. I had it for a while. And that one, whew, not only was it waterproof, but it was not coming off. I would go and take it off with some makeup remover and it was still there. The next day, it was still on my lashes. This one, I don't know how they did it but it wasn't hard to get off. Surprisingly, and this gets mixed reviews, you either love this or hate it. I'm one of those who love it, so yes. It's the same brush as the better, as the original Better Than Sex mascara. It's the same, and it, I love the way it goes on. I think I like this better than the, the original, <laughs> honestly. And yeah, if it's easy to get off, I think I'll just, use this it was I love the packaging too it's like that water it's gritty like you know you feel the texture and I got the Anastasia Beverly Hills dip brow pro made this is I guess it's kind of a repurchase because I have one already I just have it in a different color the color I already have is ebony this one is chocolate it's lighter than ebony right yes ebony this is this is dark this is, yeah. But this is a must. This is like another holy grail product for me. And every time I wear it, I get compliments on my eyebrows. I kid you not. They're like, oh, I love your eyebrows. What is it? And it's always Anastasia. I'm like, yeah. Um, I'm their like spokesperson. They don't even know. <laughs> I got these boots. I haven't worn them yet. These are from Kenneth Cole. They were on sale... These, I know, you're like, girl, you have big feet. I'm tall. I'm 5'10", 5'11". This is my first purchase. It's my first a booty sandal, right? That's how you call it. Anyways, I tried them on. I'm in love with it. I love this color because it's all one color scheme. I'm a sucker for that. They have one, the same style, in all black. That's, I need to get those. And another one, like a pewter, pewter color up here and like a brownish color down here. I don't know but I definitely want to get the black ones I know that they're comfortable I love the black heels I prefer a thicker heel versus a thin heel this is 
my purchase for spring, summer, and fall. And I got me some Havianas, Havanas sandals. These are never on sale, ever. And they were because Macy's, I tell you, I, everything was like on sale. I've been wanting these for a while, literally. Like, I wanted to buy them last year, I just didn't. I don't know why. I just, I didn't want to pay. I think it was like $30. I think they're thirty dollars, something like that, and I got them for twenty. So, something is something. I just I love them. I have a bunch of flip flops from them. I have like one of Belle, Wonder Woman, and another like leopard print print that these pink and rose gold ones. They're so cute. And yeah, that is it. it that was a lot. That is it for my haul. I really hope you you enjoyed the products that I I was into and I am into. I'm really excited to try that Trolls palette, the ColourPop stuff. I mean, everything really, and to wear my my sandals soon. It's spring and it's been pretty cold. Today's a good day, so I'm here filming, and I need to hurry up because I want to enjoy the day. You know. I love I love filming though and hopefully that shows thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up click that beautiful face of mine over here um, to subscribe I will see you in my next video Mwah. bye